I so forgot how fractitious it had become between Francis and I for a phase then. I mean, really, and publicly as well. <laughs> I'd be, be always in attacking. the freaking magazines being like, zero tolerance is a shit policy. I don't know why they came up with it. And I was like, you yeah. know why we came up with it? Because I fucking told you. <laughs> that was basically yeah. it for about three years. <laughs> yeah, it was. And we had to like, it, it got to the point where it's like, right, we have to draw this line because it was actually starting to kind of hurt yeah. our relationship. But the, the, but the thing was, France had been the most and always been the most supportive person for me i mean she's my absolute port in the storm and always have be, has been always will be and i've been living on her sofa and and brought a lot of uh heat into her life and uh, for a long period of time always have done but there were some really hot periods and i think it the, part of that fractitious period came because during the ban francis stood by me i'd lived on her sofa i'd affected her relationships She'd supported me through thick and thin when I was getting attacked, like left, right and centre. And then I came out of it and, I mean, Lance Armstrong called me St. David. When I came back um, after my ban, my biggest um, drive was, this shouldn't have happened to me. And I, I, my motivation for putting so much work into the anti-doping movements and spending years on commissions and putting myself on the line in the media was was by, I knew that I could prevent it happening to younger riders. If I educated people and if I put myself on the line and actually went and worked with commissions who'd never spoken to an, a, a doper before. And so that was my mission and I think it, it worked and it took years, but with Frances it was the same. She was doing it for one person. She was doing it for me in the sense that she knew, well, it's a little sad. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's um, that was a very moving moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it will yeah. always be raw. I mean, it was a it was a brutal, and it remains a brutal part of our lives. You know, it was kind of, and it was so public. You know, that in so, even just hearing him, David talk about it and me talking about it, it's like we both played these very. I mean, I was behind the scenes. My team was a very public role player in the changing of the sport. David was this absolutely front and center of changing the sport, and his team slipstream were absolutely part of the change as well but it it meant that we had to take these very different and opposing positions and it and and just everything that we went through together as as a family as as david and i as teams in the school yeah it was it was brutal but at the end of the day we we as brother and sister we went through a, a really really brutal time together for a long long time <laughs> <laughs>